Hello student, this is Manifested e-learning platform. My name is Wilson Andove. I'm your literature teacher. We are looking at the book A Doll's House. And today we are going to discuss some other themes. In the previous lesson, we discussed three themes. Now today we are going to discuss three other themes. The theme of friendship. Theme of change and determination. And the theme of betrayal. I said that a theme is an idea, is a message about life that the writer puts forward. In this book, A Doll's House by Henry Ibsen, we have friendship. Who is a friend? A friend is someone who stands with you. A friend is someone who comes to your need. Whenever you need something or whenever you are down, you need someone whom you can talk to, that, that the person that you call upon, that's a friend. So friendship goes beyond just knowing someone, but being there for that person. So in this book, we're going to look at uh, one major friendship that is between Dr. Rang and the head nurse. So friendship. Actually, we have two friendships. We have that of Dr. Rang, and the Helmers, and that of Nora and Mrs. Linde. So you have Dr. Rank and the Helmer, Helmer family. And then we have Mrs. Linde, Mrs. Linde, and Nora. Now let me start with Dr. Rank. Dr. Rank is a close friend to the Helmer family. In fact, he comes to this family on a daily basis, twice or thrice a day. Remember, Dr. Rank is a single man. He lives alone and is an old man. So he comes to this family for some form of comfort, for company. So Dr. Rank comes to the Helma family for, com for company. He comes there not as a doctor, not as a doctor. So he's not their pass he's not their physician, he's not their family doctor, no. Is just a friend. Dr. Rank confides in Nora about his impending death. To confide means to tell someone a secret. In fact, he tells Nora that in about a month's time, he'll be rotting somewhere. He'll be dead. You can see that level of friendship. It's so deep that you decide to tell someone about your life eventuality. This now makes Nora feel like borrowing money. Remember Nora has to repay Krogstad's loan and this thing has been troubling her for a long time. She feels the right person to help her out is Dr. Rank. She's almost asking for money from him. By the time Dr. Rank make some funny, funny actions, which actually keep her off. So you can see Dr. Rank confides, confides in Nora about his impending death.
So you can say Dr. Lang feels closer to Nora than to Helma. Though, of course, he comes to this house because of Helma's, uh, Helma's generosity. Now, another character is Miss Linda and Nora. These two were high school classmates. So they know each other for a long time. We are told about 10 years. They were in school 10 years ago, 10 years actually earlier. So they know each other for a long time. Even after the high school, they still maintain some little contact, not, though not so much. And that's why through that friendship, Miss Linde comes to town after she loses her husband. She comes to the city to look for a job. In fact, she is hosted by Nora. You can see Nora and Miss Linde were, were friends. Or, or we can say have been friends. Friends from high school. And then Nora mm, hosts Miss Linde when she comes, when she in this case means Miss Linde. town to look for a job. Now, through this friendship, Nora is able to secure Miss Linde a job. So through the friendship, this friendship Nora is able to secure Mrs. Linde, sorry, Mrs. Linde, a job. So this friendship is fruitful. You can say the friendship, the friendship. Is fruitful. Is fruitful. Something else about this friendship. It is through Mrs. Linde that we come that actually the truth is revealed. Before Miss Linde comes to, to the Helmer's family, the whole issue of loan has been masked for a long time. But Miss Linde tells Krogstad to go ahead and reveal the secret. So it's through Miss Linda that we learn of the secret. So it is Mrs. Linda that we learn, come to learn of the secrets in Nora's life. So that is friendship. Another thing that you need to look at is change and determination. And I write here, change and determination. Or you can say determination and change. Mm -hmm. 